Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Amy from With Love by Amy. Thank you so much for stopping by. All right, so today we are going to make a card honoring National Maritime Day. This card is something I created for the Obscure Holiday Hop over on Instagram. It's, um, it's a fun hop that they do on the first weekend of the month. And it's just to kind of like make cards to make people aware of holidays that aren't wi widely celebrated. And I feel like I've definitely learned a lot from doing this, hol this hop every month because there are lots of holidays that I never knew existed before and just like appreciation days and stuff like that. And I know some of these like quote unquote made up holidays are cheesy and stuff. But some of them are pretty cool to commemorate things that you wouldn't think of on, you know, that aren't so widely known to commemorate, I guess. And so in my personal quest to use stamp scent that I have not used in a very long time, I am digging through my um, use it or lose it box today. And I actually found three stamp sets that I decided to stamp out. I picked the Open Sea from Stampin' Up!, from Land to Sea from Stampin' Up! and that's where the lighthouse came from. And the ship came from, the, the steamship came from Traveler. Um, the open sea is where the, I guess, I shouldn't say pirate ship, but the ship, the sail ship, the sailboat. That one came from the open sea. And the thing that you see me using on screen now is a very old thing from Stampin' Up! or not Stampin' Up! Creative Memories from when there was 12 by 12 scrapbooking. And I have a piece of acetate underneath of it, and I'm going to make my own Waves stencil because I don't currently have a Waves stencil. So that's what I'm doing here, is making some Waves. Um, the little red thing is a blade. I don't know if anybody has anything like this in their stash. I If I had dyes that made like Waves or something, I could have used the same thing to make a stencil. However... I don't have any wave dies either. So I'm going to use that very much wavy looking side on the one side of the piece of acetate. And then I'm going to slide it down and I'm going to use the less wavy side to make different waves on the acetate. And I'm being very slow here because it's hard for me to see where the acetate ends and where I want to do the cutting. So I'm going kind of slow, but I don't want to mess it up because that acetate that I'm using is kind of expensive and I don't have a lot of it left. So I don't want to mess it up. All right, so here you can kind of see my cool stencil that I just made. And now we are going to ink blend. And full disclosure, I did edit out me doing it the wrong direction because I did it and I was like, this doesn't look like friggin' waves. Like I started at the top of it and I worked my way down and I was like, that's not going to work. So... I flipped the paper over and I started again, but I edited it all out this time because the video was way too long. So I just thought I'd tell you about my little blooper there instead of actually showing you that I messed it up. But yeah, with the waves, starting at the bottom and working your way up works better than starting at the top and working down. Just saying. Um, the Distress Oxide ink that I'm using is Salty Ocean. I thought it was fitting because let's be honest, we're doing an ocean here. So I did um, lots of inking and I honestly, as per usual, fl flying by the seat of my pants here, I am going to do some partial cutting in the center of the card there so I can slip the ships into the water. I thought that would look cool. So I cut, used the cutting thing and I cut a little line along one of the waves. And now we're gonna make the skies look a little stormy. Um, I think this is faded jeans. I didn't have a gray ink. I guess I need to get a gray distress oxide because that's what I wanted was gray. But I had blue, a dark blue, so that's what we're using. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I haven't had my coffee yet this morning. I'm trying to get this video posted before we leave to go to Silver Dollar City. My kids are super excited to go to amusement parks lately, so we are going to take them to Silver Dollar City because it's only a couple hours away from where we live. And so uh, that's why I'm working on a video very early in the morning before they wake up. And yeah, I kind of totally just fly by the seat of my pants with these cards. I kind of just like know what I want the general theme to be. And then I put the pieces together. Because as you can see on the left there, I have all the other stuff that I um, stamped. 
And I'm not going to end up using most of it because I didn't really know where the card was going when I started. So, um, and I also, this is going to be a slimline card, so it is three and a half inches tall. Currently the panel is bigger than three and a half inches, but um, it's going to be three and a half inches tall by eight and a half inches long. And yes, it is honoring National Maritime Day, which I will give you a little history on that. It was 90 years ago, Congress decided to celebrate National Maritime Day to celebrate America's steamship Savannah for its voyage from United States to England, making it the first successful crossing of the Atlantic Ocean with steam propulsion. So I thought that was cool. And they just wanted to, the government wanted to um, show support for all of the help that um, that maritime, you know, like merchant marines and stuff like that do for us, even during war times and stuff. They deliver goods and transport troops. So I thought it was interesting. I I do know a couple people who are merchant marines, but I did not know that there was National Maritime Day until I did some research for in obscure holidays. Um, I am just using some Prismacolor colored pencils to very crudely, not very nicely, color these stamped images. Um, I just want them to have a little bit of color so that they don't kind of like fade into... And I cut them out by hand because they don't have dyes for these, so they're just kind of like crudely fussy cut out. I didn't do a very detailed job. And I'm not going to color all of them. I could I could color most of it, but a lot of it's very black, so it'd be really hard for the color to show up. And so I'm just going to do the little flags in blue. We don't want it to be a black flag. We don't want it to be a pirate ship. That's not the vibe we're going for here. Um, and here I am thinking I'm going to use this for my beach to put my lighthouse on. But then I don't end up liking it. Like I cut a little slit in it to, so I can stick it in the, the little slit I put in the card. And I don't end up liking it. Like I feel like it's just too small to hold my, to look like the beach. So I decide to scrap that idea. Yeah, this is one of the bloopers I left in. So, and we're going to verify how tall the card needs to be because I'm afraid with the lighthouse on it that I need to accommodate the beach needs to accommodate for the height we need. So I'm trying a different idea with that oval punch and I still don't like it. And so then we decide we are going to tear some tan cardstock. I think it's, I don't even know what it is. It's old cardstock scraps from Stampin' Up, whatever their tan cardstock was a long time ago. And then I decide I like this a whole lot better. And so this is what we're going with. And I'm going to glue that on the piece of the tan cardstock onto the front panel after I trim it down. And I'm still going to have to cut it with scissors because of the way I glue it on the front of the card. I did it intentionally because I wanted this, the beach to start at certain points and end at certain points. So I just made the piece a little bit bigger than I needed. And here we are gluing it all together. I'm so excited. So I'm taking the ships and I'm gluing them inside that slit that I made so that they look like they're actually in the water. I don't know why nerdy stuff like this is important to me, but that's what I'm doing. So I put glue on the back and the front of the pirate ship, and then I only put glue on the back of the other ship because the other ship didn't go into that slit very far, but the pirate ship did go in quite a bit because I left a big piece at the bottom. And then we're gonna glue the lighthouse down, and I'm also putting a beam of light coming off the lighthouse because, you know, it's got to be doing its job when the skies are all cloudy like that, right? So we're doing a beam of light. I could have done some masking or something and just left it white there, but I didn't think of it at the time. So this is what happens when I create as I go. I don't have a true plan in mind. So I don't know. Let me think. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. And here's what it turned out like as the finished product. And thank you so much for watching, and I hope you'll check out the hop, the comment, the information is in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching this video, and here's some more that you may enjoy. And don't forget to come back soon and see what else we have to offer. Thank you. Bye.